Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Campus. So today in this video, we'll see a new string type question. This question is also important for your placement. Okay, so this is the problem, the maximum repeating substring. Okay, first read the problem here. For a string sequence, so sequence is a string. A string or is repeating. If or concatenated k times is a substring of sequence. Okay. The words maximum k repeating value is the highest value k where or is k repeating in sequence. So you will be given two strings sequence and or. Okay. So you have to find how many times this substring ab is present inside this main string that is the sequence string. Okay. So the or is a substring of sequence. So if the or is not a substring of sequence or's maximum k repeating value is 0. That is, we have to return 0. Okay. So, given string sequence and or return the maximum k repeating value of the or in sequence. So, here the output will be 2 because the substring av is present 2 times. Here you can see av and this is av. Okay. So, our output will be 2. So, you can say that this is string. So, for simplicity, we can write here, this is string S and this is substring. Suppose, S, U, B, okay. So, for simplicity, I have to write here, this is the string S and this is the substring. And we have to find how many times this substring A, B is present inside the string S. So, A, B is present two times inside the string S. So, our output will be 2, okay. So this is a very easy type problem and we can solve it using the find function and you know how to use the find function and we have discussed about the find function in the previous question also. So if you have not watched that video, please watch that video because find function is very important and you can apply it most of the string problems. Okay. And it helps us to solve the problem easily. Okay. So now let's write the code. So first of all, we'll write the basic format of the C++ that is, let's include weeds standard C++ dot h using namespace standard. So first write the main function. Okay. Inside this main function, I'll write a string and the name of the string is suppose s. Okay. And our input string is suppose a v a v and c okay so this is the input string and there will be also a substring so suppose the substring is sub and this will be suppose a v okay now we'll write a function where we'll do all the operations suppose the name of the function is refitting so inside this function we'll pass this s and sub Okay, we'll pass this to and before this main method, we'll write the same function here. So what will be the return type? The return type will be integer because it will count the number of occurrence of this substring inside this string S. Okay, so for that right here, int and then the name of the function. So inside this function, I'll write this to string that is string S and then string sub okay so now we want to store this substring into a temporary string suppose the name of the temporary string is temp okay so string temp equals to sub now we'll check using a while condition that is while is dot find of what find of temp Okay, we'll working with the temp string because we don't want to disturb the substring. Okay, so you know the find function will return. Return what? Will return the position of this temp string. The find function will return the first occurrence of the temp string into the string S. Okay, so the find function will return the position. So if the find, if S dot find of temp is not equal to string scope resolution in force. So in force means until the end of the string. Okay. So if the temp is found inside the S, then the in force will return minus one. And you can see 
the position returned by the find function will not be equal to the minus 1 because the default value of infos is minus 1 okay so it will return minus 1 if the string is find okay and the find function will return a positive integer okay so any positive integer is not equals to minus 1 okay if this condition satisfied that is the substring is find inside this string is yes. okay so if this condition satisfied then then we will store this stuff into the temp okay so for that right here temp equals to temp plus stuff okay we will store this stuff into the temp and let's uh, write a variable here suppose int k equals to 0 its initial value is 0 and if this is fine if the substring is fine then we'll increase this k value okay so k will be increases okay so k will count how many times the substring is present inside the string is okay so the initial k value is zero and after every time the substring is fine it will increases okay and finally after go outside of this while loop will return this value k so just simply return k here okay so that's why we have right here integer because it will return an integer value okay so after getting this value let's print here so for that write here c out okay so let's run it so okay our output is 2 and this is perfect output so here we can see our expected output was two for these two inputs okay so let's give some another input like b a b a b a okay so here you can see in this string s substring a b is present one times two times okay so our output will be two okay so let's run it And here you can see our output is 2. So in this way, you can check the test cases by changing the inputs. Okay. And this question is very, very important for your upcoming coding test. So hope you enjoyed this video. And if you find this video helpful, then please like the video and share it with your friend. And if you are not subscribed to our channel yet, then please subscribe the channel now because it will be helpful for your upcoming examination. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.